out of business as of Monday. A local dry cleaners leaves its customers without everything they'd already paid for in advance. An update finally posted on the door of El Dorado Cleaners after a competitor agreed to distribute the items starting noon Saturday. Jesse de Guiado reports on why the sudden move was necessary. Her camera phone at the ready, a customer takes pictures of signs saying El Dorado Dry Cleaners has closed and the clothes and other items would be transferred to a nearby competitor. It's frustrating, but it, my comforter is not necessary to me. I mean, I feel worse for the people who have clothes in there. Like the Lackland Airman who told Galenas her uniforms are among hundreds of other articles of clothing still trapped inside. Thankfully, Hannah's cleaners did come to the rescue, and it's only about a half a mile away from the other cleaners. But this man says he'll be out of town when all of his clothes will be ready for pickup mm -hmm. starting noon Saturday. You and when he tried here. calling the owner, yes. he told me, hey, I'm busy. I can, you know, help you for anything. Unwilling to go on camera, El Dorado owner Doug Blevins says he's sorry about any inconvenience, but he lost his investment and couldn't make a go of it. His landlord told us he just bought the nearly 20 year old business in January. He tried to avoid the abrupt closure by renegotiating the lease last week, but the leasing agent says Blevins made it clear he was closing shop. I own my own business, so I know that that can be frustrating and things happen. Even so, she didn't get a call back after leaving a message. They have all the phone numbers. It's, that's one of the things they asked for on our receipt. So much for the dry cleaners with favorable reviews she found on Yelp a few years ago. Thank you. Jesse De Wojado, KSAT 12 News. And the owner says customers should bring the receipts when they pick up their items starting noon Saturday. And the landlord tells us they've signed a mutual agreement terminating El Dorado's lease.